Hey guys, Phil Baumhardt here. So for today's Knife of the Week, I got a Torion buoy to show you. So for those unfamiliar with the Torion model that I make, it's basically just what I call any of my large buoy S-guards. Just what I call it, just for fun. Uh, so this one is definitely unique in a couple of ways, mainly the guard. This has got a uh, penny scroll guard with a twist. So this penny scroll is something that I was practicing for another buoy knife, for another custom order where the customer requested a kind of penny scroll. So I figured I'd give it a shot on another knife before I did his. And this is how this one turned out. And just because I was using a flat piece of stock, I put a twist in it just so they would line up right. And I think it looks kind of cool. Kind of gives it a pirate kind of feel. So I call this kind of the pirate Torreon. So this is a uh, 17 and a half inch overall length. Blade is 11 inches long with a 10 inch cutting edge. Handle itself is uh, about six inches long, so big honking piece of steel. So this is a, uh, I made this one out of a quarter inch piece of uh, ADCRV too. So it's got uh, quite a good deal of heft to it, two inches wide. This is a unsharpened false edge. So uh, the grind there is just kind of uh, for looks, but this is unsharpened. I kind of uh, envisioned less of the fighting knife and more of kind of a, uh, more of a uh, chopper or a camp tool so uh, you can split kindling and uh, you know process firewood that sort of thing obviously if you needed it for uh, defense uh, you could definitely you could definitely fight with it I mean it's got enough uh, heft and reach that you can definitely do some uh, damage with it so the uh, the grip I kind of put a little extra flourish on here to kind of give it a uh, kind of an axe handle uh, kind of grip so uh, choking back here you get extra leverage, extra mass in uh, kind of cutting and chopping. You can uh, choke back up here. You got a nice big finger groove, so you can get your finger in there for for holding it up here. You can put your finger on this little choil area here for uh, maybe finer uh, whittling and carving. Not that this would be a great whittler per se, but you know that's there, and it's long enough that you can get kind of a second hand on there for your chopping and splitting chores. So with this big unsharpened false edge, this will be good for batoning, great place to catch your baton. I don't want to lose too much mass up here with this, you know, kind of buoy profile. You start losing a lot of mass. So that's why, you know, another reason why they don't want to put that uh, false edge on there. Nice feeling knife, got a good uh, weight and heft to it. The uh, handle here is walnut and on this particular side here, it's got kind of a uh, Kind of a burl to the grain, which is uh, which is neat, but just real nice piece of walnut, nice piece of wood, nice shape to the grain. So pretty, pretty interesting. And I did put a uh, a lanyard hold here. So again, you can put a piece of paracord or leather on there, have that kind of looped over your wrist for extra safety. You know, in keeping as a camp knife, I kind of like that. So for the sheath here, with the kind of uh, pirate theme if you will I did this uh, this frog style of uh, carry method so you've got a belt loop there that snugs up to this frog and this is fully removable it's a little stiff right now which was intentional because I figured the leather will break in a bit over time there we go so with with uh, something like this I like the idea that you can have this on your belt and then you can sort of slide the knife in if you want to wear it and if you need to uh, get in a vehicle or uh, you know going to the store for something you know legal issues and you didn't want to have this big giant scary knife you can just sort of slip this off without having to undo your belt especially if you're wearing this on the left side which I think a lot of people like to wear these uh, larger knives on the left side you know you have to unwind your entire belt and if you got anything else on there then you gotta contend with all that and I really hate doing that so I'm a big fan of being able to you know put your tools on and off without having to undo your entire belt so you, so you will be able to take this on and off so it slides in pretty easy it's pretty snug coming out which is good because you know when you go to draw this knife you don't want the whole thing yeah scabbard coming with the with the knife but you know with the leather it'll definitely uh kind of break in over time so so not really much to it just another one of my uh bigger knives with a couple extra details in the uh in the guard 
and the handle. Just wanted to kind of try something new, fancy it up just a little bit, and also trying out this uh, different uh, scabbard setup. So. so if you want to own this knife, there's going to be a link in the uh, description box. So, And there's also links down there for uh, Facebook and Instagram if you want to follow me there. So as always, I appreciate the support. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, be more Viking.